Hey, I'm back with another LEGO set review. This is LEGO Star Wars Death Star Escape, set number 105229. It has 329 pieces and retails for $30 in the US at the, at the time of the recording of this video, which is in 2019. So, um, before we take a look at the figures, because, you know, the build is already set up and all, why don't we just dig right in and take a look at basically what this build has to offer. So, the build, as you can see, is for the most part, you know, separated into two parts and the figures just fell off because there's no stud attachments, which I'll get to later. But anyway, it's basically two separate parts, but they are connected by a pair of hinges. And you can get a bit of a different look from the build if that's what you're looking for. But uh, let's start from here. So uh, this is kind of like a gateway. I really like the framing right there and the walkway. And the walkway has an extra feature where... And you can pull the whole thing up like that and extend the walkway this way or push it back and extend it that way, which we'll take a better look at. And um, so let's say the Luke and Leia, which are the figures that fell in the set, are right here in the doorway. I can't really get them to stand because it's tall and that wasn't terrible, but it was still bad. And anyway, when they stand there, there's a little control panel right there, which... Again, we'll take a closer look at all these things I'm mentioning. So you could just pretend that, you know, this is kind of moving back and you, well, supposedly, you would be able to shut the door. And I haven't had good luck with that, looking at this thing from the back. So this is the door. When you push this, it's supposed to go just slamming down. Mine always gets stuck halfway. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of other people have this problem. I could have built it wrong, but then again, I double-checked. I deal a lot with Lego. I don't believe I built it wrong. And, yeah, it's just... I, there's some friction in there. I think it might be the pieces. I'm, I'm not sure, but... Anyway, um, if you got this, supposedly it would work, where if you push this, it would just slam down. And then they would be locked onto this side right here. So, it's a squeeze, but maybe you could get Luke and Lay in there. I wouldn't set your hopes on it. But anyway, uh, so the drawbridge have been shut. There's no way of going back. There's a stormtrooper. And then you can recreate that famous uh, scene. And I took this out just to fit the Luke figure everywhere. But uh, I'll take a, another look at this whole attachment when we get into the figure section. But you can attach Le Leia right there to Luke. I got a bit tongue twisted in the back. And then because okay she fell off yeah it's a very weak attachment um if it was an official build lego wouldn't consider it a legal building technique just in the way it works a clip just grabbing onto a bar attachment just like that so lego themselves i don't think considers that an official build and you can see it takes a while but there we go and you have them both and then with this hook you can do that so that's another build up there, and it's hollow on the inside, so the hook can really just kind of go in and get in there. By the way, bear with me, this is my temporary studio, because I just moved, so the hook can go in there. They don't really swing at all, though this is fortunate. You, like, they're standing right now. Usually, they, like, lie down and they tilt their whole bodies, but they could swing, but then again, it's very weak, so it's a very lousy play feature. Like, if you're looking at this just as a display model... Looks pretty good, but even then, you know, it's not that good of a display model. But anyway, moving on from that, that's supposedly what would happen. They would shoot the stormtrooper, and he'd go flying. Insert William's feet, scream. Sorry, I got a bit tongue twisted again. Right there. But anyway, that's just a simple knob right here that you push, and it makes something come up from the floor and push him out. And you get a better look at the console with him gone. But he stands right there. I also like that there's a ladder actually showing the way for the figure to get up there. And then, hey, look at that little mouse droid. And that, I don't think is a good build. The old one, I think, is a lot better. Or uh, Actually, it looks fine. Am I getting confused here? From the one in Darth Vader's castle, I'm not sure. But it looks fine. And then you got this little stand off to the side. There's not too much going on here. I have no idea why Lego always chooses in, like, a solid wall they always have to put one cylinder piece. I don't even know why. It doesn't even help the build. And I think it just makes it look bad overall. And another thing that you can do 
I'm just going to remove Luke because of his whole huge thing on his back. But when you do this and put them together, you can go ahead and push the walkway and then you have a long walkway. So this is how another way you can display this. Let's say if this door function worked. Well, it works this way for me when you pull it up. Then it just catches it, but it doesn't work where it chomps down. But yeah, it works that way. So let's say uh, if this wasn't a good guy, if it was a stormtrooper, they walk by. And there's a stormtrooper if it's a bad guy or a rebel. So depending on how you look at it, you can pull that back, shut the door. And then they'd have to do this and then swing apart. So it's an okay build. It's just not as big as I would have liked. Because of the temporary studio, and this shouldn't usually be the case, but because it is right now, I can't really, I don't have my stand to show you the figure, and that's why there's shadows and everything, but anyway, this is the Stormtrooper, new for 2019 because of that helmet. Leg printing, torso printing, pretty good. Yeah, they pretty much always had that design nailed. Thank you, Lego, for not putting a stud shooter. That looks infinitely better. And angry clone, so what did you expect? But, um... Here is the new helmet piece, which I actually think looks pretty good. You know, I didn't like it on camera at all, but when I saw it in person, I started loving this thing. It's dual molded, black on the inside, and then, yeah, it looks good with the printing all around. And uh, it is a bit flat, I'd say, on the front, but I actually, from, mo like, from most angles, I actually think it works really well. Especially on the camera, for some reason, it doesn't look at as good, but in person, it looks super nice. But you can't turn the head, but I think that's fine. And I do like this newer version, I think, better. Here is Leia. Again, thank you, Lego, for not including a stud shooter. She has no printing on the legs, but that torso printing is pretty good. It has a lot of lines in it and folds, and you got the hood in the back. Just overall, a very accurate depiction from A New Hope. She has this bun piece right here, her very iconic look. Buns, and then back there, you get that facial print and there's the front one where she's more confident here is luke and thankfully for 2019 lego hasn't been putting air bubbles in the lightsabers and the chrome really looks good now for 2019 and his back accessory so this is where leia would hold and this is just the string but that's attached like this so yeah just something that slides on and then you can put luke back there and yeah, leg printing looks good, torso print looks good, uh, they switched back to this color for his hair, and then you got that back facial print as well. Something kind of weird that I wanted to note, they use the utility belt piece, as I call it, in white for him, but the printing on the actual torso has a brown belt, so maybe that could have been done in brown, I'm not sure if it would have looked better or not. So... First, I'd just like to say sorry for this sloppy review. It was pretty sloppy, but then again, you know, I'm in my temporary studio, and that's probably the reason why. But, um, anyway, uh, the set itself, it's a $30 set from MSRP, Manufacture Suggested Retail Price, and it's kind of steep. The three figures here are good. It's always nice to get Stormtroopers, um, Princess Leia. It's good because, like, you don't usually get that variant now. Luke Skywalker, he's pretty common. He comes in a lot of cheaper sets now, but yeah, so figures, I guess if you really wanted that Princess Leia as a collector, because I know a lot of kids don't really want her, like they want her, but like they wouldn't want, I, I don't know if they would want that variant or one in a more rebel kind of outfit or whatnot, but um, maybe they could have improved value in figure-wise by adding one more Stormtrooper, you know, make it more of an even fight, even though Luke has a lightsaber and would just mow them down without Leia's help. Uh, but the build itself, even then, you know, the build, I don't know, it feels like a, this whole set just feels like a $20 set. When I first saw this, I really wanted it. I thought it was a great value, but then having put it together and having it in my hand, it just feels a lot more like a $20 set. There's just not that much to the build, but yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.